I just learned that 40% of the world's CO2 is produced by coal. Now globally, there is a movement shifting towards clean, renewable energies, and for good reason, except in the US, where there are plans to open new coal mines. Now, I don't know about you, but a smog-filled future seemed pretty terrifying, so I decided to do a photo shoot to see what that would look like. Check it out. Joe and Ernie from the Wasteland Warriors live all the way out in Germany. I pitched them the idea of a shoot in which post-apocalyptic warriors were buying and selling oxygen because it had become such a rare commodity. Not gonna lie, I was pretty excited when they said yes. The boys live in one of the most amazing houses that I've ever visited, filled to the brim with exciting props and all the tools that we would ever need to build whatever we wanted. For this project, they had been collecting all sorts of parts that they thought we might need, from broken scuba tanks, to tubes, to pieces of plastics, and all that was missing were a few extra accessories, which meant time to go shopping. We've got two cans of spray paint, uh, metal buckets, as well as a couple rods. The master plan, is to put smoke bombs inside of this little tin box because it just shoots flames and black smoke for about a minute. So this pot for $1.99 is gonna save our butts. When we got back, I was put in charge of decorating the scuba tanks while the boys took care of the more delicate props. I was a little bit nervous to be put in charge of something I'd never done before, but once we got rolling, things got a lot easier. Prepping the tanks essentially boiled down to four simple steps. Step one spray painting them to a sexy matte black and some metallic overtones. Step two, using a sand machine to strategically add a little bit of wear and tear. Step three, paint acid onto the exposed areas to create more texture. And step four, light the whole thing up with fire. I may have gotten some acid on my hands. They never said to use gloves. Like a public safety announcement. As a disclaimer, don't do this at home, children. It's stupid. On the other side of the house, Ernie was hard at work creating our oxygen harvesting machine using a fishbowl, a teapot, and a plastic tree. For this prop, we had to heat the fishbowl with a heat gun so that the teapot and fishbowl could fuse beautifully together. Holes had to be drilled into the bowl so that we could thread tubes through them for the harvesting process, and finally, spray-painted bottle caps were carefully glued onto the final piece. Slowly but surely, the prop began coming to life as the random pieces of tubing and plastic started to actually look like something. Dude, it worked! Can you believe it? Look at that. It actually freaking worked. That is so good. Meanwhile, Joe, a graphic designer by trade, was hard at work on the computer, finalizing the logo of our fake corporation that was going to be buying and selling oxygen. Once he was done, he had them printed onto stickers so that we could place them onto the oxygen tanks. As night fell, we put on the finishing touches on all of our different props, from ordinary gas masks, now painted with a metallic shine, to our oxygen bottles, now looking post-apocalyptic and photo-ready. All right, guys, that's it for the prep. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like, comment, subscribe. Next week, we take you guys into a junkyard, onto the photo shoot of an outdoor mining museum. Check it out. I think you're going to love this one. It's going to be awesome.